We're going to take a look at how to replace the throttle trigger and the lockout on a steel FS90 trimmer. Here is the trigger and this is the lockout. Basically when you push the trigger if you're not holding the lockout down sometimes what will happen is that either the lockout or the trigger will break because they're plastic and sometimes if you force the trigger without holding the lockout you'll break one or the other. So the tool that you're going to need is a T20 Torx bit and basically there's four screws one two three four that will fit. Now the other two screws they are not you don't need to take those apart so basically we're gonna go ahead and use that T20 Torx bit and we're gonna loosen up all four of those screws on the handle the other two screws take a bigger Torx bit usually the wrench that comes with your steel weed eater but as I said you don't need to loosen those two screws to fix the trigger or the, the lockout Now we got all four screws out, you just take the handle apart. Inside you'll see that there's a spring going around this trigger and then that spring loops, loops up into the throttle cable. Take that spring off and you remove the trigger as long as it's not already in pieces from being broke. You basically take this throttle cable and take the end and turn it backwards and then kind of pull down on the throttle cable and the throttle cable will come right off of that trigger. Then basically you just replace the trigger. Next we're going to look at the lockout. I'm going to zoom in here so you can get a better view. This is the lockout. Sometimes it breaks. It's held on by a spring. Basically you can pull this off and if you turn it you can see that there's a triangular shaped groove in the bottom of the lockout so you know which way that goes down and down inside this is the spring that holds that lockout in place get yourself a screwdriver or a wire or something to pull it out and basically what you got to do to put it, the lockout back in is you've got to get the spring to fit into this triangular groove and on this plastic peg that sticks out. Easiest way I found to do it is to first put it on down on the peg. Make sure get yourself something like a screwdriver or a wire or the spring and basically you pull down on that spring Put the lockout down over the peg and kind of snap the spring back up into that triangular groove. Once you got it, it'll spring back and forth like it's supposed to do. Now we can go ahead and put our trigger back on. Now you just have to hook the throttle cable back into the trigger just like you took it off. Bend it up in there, spin it around, put the trigger back on the peg, make sure the throttle cable is inside, and now you take your spring, put it back on, the straight end goes back up underneath the throttle cable end, the round end goes around the, the trigger, and the the other spring end goes around this peg down here. Now that you got that back together, you can put the case back on and screw back in the four the four torque screws. And you've just replaced the trigger and the lockout on your FS90 weed eater. Thanks again for watching and you can check out our other videos on our YouTube channel.